Yeah, this is a work in progress, obviously, for a long time to come. Dion, what, what do you think, in your mind, the biggest challenge? Uh, first of all, we can't compete. We don't have collectives. We don't We don't have anything like that. We're trying to rally up boosters. And you're talking about collectives. So <laughs> I don't even know the definition of a collective. Um, and it's name, image, and likeness. Name, image, and likeness. I'm happy that these get, kids are getting compensated. But when you talk about name, image, and likeness, I haven't seen anybody on anything. We keep talking about these kids are making millions of dollars. What are they on? Where is the name, the image, and the likeness? Or is it just collectives just paying these kids to participate at this or that college? We don't have that. Again, we, we don't have those resources. Uh, we can't compete with that. So the little guy is pushed aside because now when it comes down to, is this guy going to choose this college or that college? We can't compete with any and up to make sure that kid is compensated like he wants to be compensated. And I want these kids to start by focusing on the NFL and not the NIL. Mm -hmm. Now you have kids not even thinking about um, the wonderful job that Coach Saban has done and the track record that he's accumulated, but you're in or the position coach or does his scheme fit him? They're thinking about NIL. So if the money fits, uh, I go there. And that's not the way to attack this thing because the NFL is what's going to sustain you and maintain you. Not the NIL. Listen, th this was already a difficult job that, that both of you had it, as head coaches at, at this level. And as much as there's positive and people are happy and kids are getting paid, this is even tougher now, your job, <laughs> because of NIL. So we'll, we'll keep track of all that as it evolves. Coach Saban, um, we all know your resume, and I know you roll your eyes when I repeat all this stuff, but you've led your teams to the <laughs> national championship game six of the last seven years, and you, and you haven't lost more than two games since 2010. Just a couple of reasons why you were just given another new contract. Eight years, almost $94 million to be exact, and, and that's an average of 11.7 per year, the highest in the sport. I, I assume you consulted with Miss Terry, and he deserves it, right, Prime? Consulting with Miss Terry before deciding to sign a deal that will see you turn 79, I think, during the final year of that contract. How, how long can you see yourself as the head coach at Alabama? Well, you know, first of all, one of the, and I want to, you know, comment on what Dion, you know, just talked about. You know, we're really trying to create value for players and their future. And we don't like to have things that can be impediments to that. In other words, the reason we all went to college was to be developed personally, academically, develop a career off the field, see if we could develop a career on the field and play at the next level. So, Creating value for players is one of the most important things that we've tried to do so that they're more successful in life because they were involved in the program. And that's what we want to continue to challenge ourselves to do. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy being a part of a team. Uh, like I've said before, I worry a lot about what would I do if I didn't do this? Right. Most people say, I want to retire so I can go to Europe or whatever. I, I, I'm just the opposite because I love doing this. I love being a part of, the te of a team. Uh, I love the competition, love the relationships with the players, uh, love to see them sort of develop and have a better chance to be successful. And it makes you very proud when you see them do well. So um, I'm going to do it as long as I'm not an impediment to this program. I don't want to ride the program down. So I'm excited about the future and I'm excited about this year and our team and what we can do. And what we can do in the future. The, the, the long-term future for sure. Again, 79 years old when you're in that final year. And who knows, maybe more after that. Dion, you're only 55. you got a good 20 years left, right? <laughs> First of all, I just want everything after the comma. I want everything after the comma but Coach Saban. <laughs> Coach Saban is our magna cum laude. He's our guy. You wouldn't question Michael Jordan. You don't question LeBron when they're given a, a contract of this standard and this status. We should never question him. I love what he's doing. I love the bar that he set. And every opportunity that I get to sit with him on this wonderful half like set, I'm gleaning from him. <laughs> says some of the fruit and the nuggets that he's able to spit to me. So I'm thankful. I'm happy. Well deserved. No one. I wish I would catch anybody saying anything about a contract that Coach Saban has warranted. He is the GOAT. Not one person is debating how valid it is that Coach Saban got this deal. Listen, thank you. By the way, next time, Coach, when we have more time, Coach Saban, I, I, I would love an explanation of, of your desk behind you because there's a lot There's a lot there. That's, that, that's impressive. It's, um, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> there. There's a lot of things that need to be put away from there. <laughs> but I do want to make a comment. You know, I enjoy so much 
the, the, the relationship with Dion to do the Aflac um, and the Gap Goat thing this year was has always been really, really fun, but it was especially fun this year. And you know, hopefully people realize, you know, what they can accomplish by using Aflac to close the gap on some of the issues they have with insurance. Nick Saban, Deion Sanders, both of you are wonderful. Thank you for taking so much time with us here on SportsCenter. And have fun. Good luck to both of you this season. Right, thank, you. thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Coming up on SportsCenter, it's fantasy draft season, and there's a new quarterback in town to consider for your team. So how should players look at the 49ers' Trey Lance? We'll discuss it.